Hey everyone, Jeffrey Phillip here. We're in the kitchen today and we are tackling the dark and dingy space underneath your sink. And as you can tell from what's behind me, it's pretty nasty. This space that usually holds a lot of cleaning products in your house is also one of the places that always feels the nastiest. But we're gonna brave it and we're diving in with both hands. We're gonna take everything out. We're gonna see what we have and then we're going to clean it out and put everything back in in a more organized and functional manner. So let's get started. I start by taking everything out of the cabinet and giving the space a good cleaning. Okay, we have everything cleaned out and now, similar to what we've done in the other videos, we are going to start by putting down a liner. And one of the reasons I like to do this is because it protects the surface of your cabinet and also makes cleanups from spills of cleaning products and soap and things of that nature so much easier. So we're going to put this down, get it cut to size, and then we're going to start putting the other stuff in. Okay, so we have our liner down and the next thing we're gonna do is tackle the trash and the recycling, the two largest containers that were under there. And I really didn't like how big those containers were because they took up a lot of prime real estate in this kitchen. So we're gonna combine both of them into one pull-out unit, which is gonna make it easy to access both of them and also open up a lot of space. And even though you may think that you're gonna have to take out the trash more often, you probably won't. And you're gonna be happier having that extra storage space that's gonna make your kitchen more efficient and easier to use. Once the trash can is in place, I begin assembling this shelving unit for the other side of the cabinet. This versatile unit will create additional storage space with its two shelves and its ability to straddle the drain pipe. All right, we got our liner down, we got a trash and recycling can in, and we have our shelving unit in as well. So now it is time to start to put everything back in and start to make a little bit more order. We are done. We've taken this dark and dingy cabinet and given it new life by cleaning it out, brightening it up, and making it more inviting and friendly to use. A quick tour on what we did. We started by adding a liner to the bottom, making it easier to clean up spills. We then took the trash and recycling and condensed it into one pull-out unit, opening up a lot more storage space, and then added a two-tier expandable shelf that was able to straddle the drain pipe. In the one drawer on the right-hand side, we put household cleaners. In the other drawer on the left-hand side, we put dish cleaning items and then also added a small little cubby to be able to hold sponges. My favorite part of the project and a spot you should never forget about in any cabinet is the back of the door. In this particular project, we did a little bit of a kitchen hack and we took a magazine holder that's traditionally used in an office and adhered it to the back of the door. We did this to hold things like wax paper, aluminum foil, saran wrap, and small little resealable baggies. We also added a small little clip to be able to hold the rubber gloves. And that's it, we're done. I hope that you enjoyed watching this. I really enjoyed doing this little transformation and I look forward to sharing more kitchen tips with you soon.